Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, HCCEvoHacks.com. Um, so I've just got my hands on Evo 4G LTE. It's uh, 2.18 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here. Oh, it's on my phone. <laughs> 24th, I just got it. Uh, I just rooted it, unrooted it like twice already. Um, to root, go to settings, uh, developer options, make sure USB debugging is checked on. Connect it to your computer. All right, and make sure it's in a uh, charge only mode. All right, let's go to our computer. Next, uh, go ahead and uh, go to, uh, if you have Windows, you'll need to update the drivers. Um, go to control panel, hardware and sound, device manager. If you don't know how to get into device manager for your Windows computer, um, please go Google it. And I'll, you should have a ADB interface, my ACC. If you don't have that, um, you probably ha have, don't have ACC drivers installed. Um, you probably have an Android 1.0 um, down here with an exclamation mark. I'm going to imagine that's the Android 1.0. Then do a double click and uh, go to driver, update driver, and then do browse my computer for my software. Do let me pick from a list of device drivers um, and uh, say half disk. And go ahead and download, uh, before this, you should have downloaded the HTC driver for 32-bit or 64-bit. Sorry, I'm kind of excited because I just got this one. Um, and uh, basically, I downloaded the HTC driver 64 there. Uh, if you have 32-bit, go download the 32-bit. Uh, keep double-clicking until you get to the inside of the folder. Choose Android USB.inf. Hit OK. And you should see, be able to see my HTC. Just click Next, say Yes, and it will install. And once you've got ACC drivers installed, um, it's very easy. I've got a one-click script um, here. Just go to uh, Evo 4G LTE root. Um, go download that zip file, unzip it. Uh, you get a folder or something like Evo 4G LTE root. Double-click it. Um, for Mac or for Windows, simply click runme.bat and simply hit enter to continue. And your phone will boot about three, t reboot about three times, and uh, it will basically root, give you BusyBox and root. Um, so while this is going, I'll explain for uh, for Mac and Linux. For Mac, um, just the same deal. Um, just you just have to use terminal to get into this directory. I have actually instructions. I'll have instructions written down on my YouTube or my blog post. Um, and basically run the script. Make sure you use chmod 755 star before to make sure the permissions are all correct. Um, and for Linux, the same thing. The thing with Linux is you'll have to start the ADB as a sudo super user. So do um, do a chmod 755 star before you do everything, and then do um, do what is it? Do a dot slash uh, adb dash Linux, which is that file space devices. And what that will do is st start the uh, ADB server as super user, and then you can run the script um, sh dot slap, uh, sh run me linux dot sh. Anyway, it's rooting here for my Windows. Uh, after the third boot, it should work. This is actually based off the same ICS root method, off the um, what is it? What what is that? Um, Transformer Prime. Sorry. Um, but you'll get these messages and basically it gives you root and uh, busy box. Um, if you want to remove moot, it's very simple. I'll show you how to do it at the end of the video. You can use the Super SU app and uh, do it. It's very easy to do. Alright, that is done. Why did I put that in there? Alright. Um, so it's going to reboot the last time, and uh, let me. Hold on here. Not moving. If it doesn't boot, just hold down the power button. So it'll boot. there you go. And you should find a super user app. And we're almost done here. Um, the next thing we will need is somehow unlock the bootloader. I think you can unlock it with HCC dev. I, I don't know. I don't know for the sprint version. Well, probably not. Huh? Um, and then we'll get custom ROMs going. But there we go. Almost done here. I'm just leaving the video on because so you can see exactly that. 
is working. Um, there we go. So now you don't need this cable anymore, and you should have Super SU app. Um, there we go. You have Super SU. Run it once, right? And it'll try to update the binaries. Hit continue. Um, installation success. You can now verify it's working by um, running a rooted app. I downloaded Wi-Fi Tether earlier. So start it, and you'll see um, Grant Super User Machines. And that's it, pretty much. Um, so there you go. That's root. Uh, let me change the camera angle. My hands are getting tired. So there's root. Um, if you want to unroot, uh, simply simply go here. Run uh, super user, super su. Go to settings, and do um, full unroot. If you hit that button, it's gonna uh, fully unroot. Hit continue. You won't have su. It's gonna get rid of su binaries completely back to stock. So I've got I've rooted it and unrooted it just now. Anyway, uh, if you have a uh, if you just bought HTC Vo4 G LTE, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, HTCVoHacks.com where we update you with ROM of the week uh, tips, hacks, and more. And uh, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email. Um, and also, I don't share your email with anyone else but my doc. And if you're on YouTube, um, please hit that like button for me. It helps me greatly. And subscribe to my channel uh, by using that button up there. Um, and uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And uh, thanks, you guys, supporting for my channel, YouTube channel also, and uh, my sites. And uh, you guys stay high on Android and go have fun rooting your phone. All right, and unrooting. See y'all later.